my channels in today's tutorial I decided to create this look like girl my highlights popping yes girl yes so yeah let's get right onto the video but before that don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't and also don't forget to uh, follow me on my social medias they're gonna be somewhere on the screen and they're gonna be down below as well all right guys let's now get into the video okay guys so I already um prepped my eyes so today I'm gonna be using the Carly Bible palette that looks just like this so the first shade that I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this color right here I'm gonna use that as a transition color and I'll be using my BH Cosmetics Carnival um, brush set and this is number seven and it's just like this So as a crease color, I'm going to be using this color right here. And I'm going to be using that same number 7 brush from the BH Cosmetics um, Carnival set. So now I'm going to go in with this color and I'm going to focus it more on the outer V. And I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics number 8 brush. And it looks just like this. And just to have everything well blended, I'm going to go back with the number 7 brush and just blend everything well together. So now since I want to darken up the, uh, the outer V a little more, I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm going to be using the same brush, num the number 7 brush, and I'm going to add that to my outer V. Now I'm going to just slowly start building it up because I don't want it too dark. And then just to blend everything together, I'm going to go with my number 7 brush. And I'm going to be using the two um, colors that I used um, earlier for the crease. So for my lid color, I'm going to be using this highlight shade right here. It's so gorgeous. I'm going to be using this one right here. And I'm going to be using my BH Cosmetics number 9 um, brush. And it looks like this. To apply that um, gold color on the lid. And to blend everything, now I'll be going back with my number 7 brush and using this color. So I'll be doing my eyeliner now, but I'm going to do it off camera. But the two eyeliners that I like using is the Maybelline Line Stiletto and the NYX Liquid Black Eyeliner. The Maybelline one looks just like this. And the NYX uh, Liquid Black um, liner looks like this. Okay, guys, now I'm finally done with my eyeliner like 5 million hours later. So now I'm going to go and go ahead and prime my face and I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Poreless Face Primer. So now I'm going to color correct and I'm going to be using the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the green one. Looks like this. And I'll be putting this on my, where I have a lot of redness going on. And then I'll be using my BH Cosmetics 128 brush to blend everything out together. So after I blended all that out, I'm going to be using my uh, LA Girl Pro Conceal and the white one just to kind of highlight my face or prep my highlight and using the same BH Cosmetics 128 brush I'm going to be using that to blend this all out so for foundation I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in the shade 107 and I'll be taking this BH Cosmetics and number 5 brush from the Car Carnival collection and using this to um, apply the foundation on my face. And to blend everything out together or to buff it in, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics number 2 brush. It's like a little stippling brush. Not a stippling brush, but a well like compact brush. You guys get the point. So 
So I think it might be a little too dark for me. So just to my concealer is gonna even it out. I think I hope I pray it does because if it doesn't, oh well. So I'm gonna be using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Sand. And you guys know this is my favorite concealer of all time. Like, girl, watch. Yo, you guys are gonna see like this is my baby. Like, this is my baby. I don't replace it with anything. difference like you guys need this in your life that like you guys could thank me later ahead but like oh my god now let me just do this other eye So now to bake or set my face, I'm going to be using the Airspun Loose Face um, Powder and the Shade Translucent and I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just bake under my eyes. Well, not really bake, but just let it sit for a while. Well, then that is baking. It hit. So then I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Press Powder just to remove all this powder. And I'll be taking this BH Cosmetics 123 brush. It's a little fluffy brush. So now I'll be taking this banana shade color and I'll be applying it to my under eyes just so they could be more brighter. And now to bronze up my face, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. And it looks just like this. And I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Number no. 3 brush. Let's hope that this brush works good for me. Wow, I actually like how this brush um, applied my bronzer. Now to clean that up, I'm going to be taking my loose powder once again and just baking. So now for blush, I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Duo Powder and this is in Fiji Matte. And I'm going to be taking this uh, pink shade right here. Obviously that's only pink one, duh. Now I'm going to be taking my Sigma brush for my brush, for my blush brush and just applying it to the apples on my cheeks. So now for mascara, I'm be using the Essence Lash Princess, a hit because I'm a princess. And I'll be using this for my eyelashes, of course, Wendy, like, what the heck, man, what the heck. So I think I, I think it did a, a pretty good job, but I think I could get them longer. So since I know I could get them longer, I'm going to go with my Mame Extract by Apple Pink and Green Super Lash Mascara. This is my all-time favorite. So I think I did a good job. Did a decent job. So now let me go ahead and do my other eyelash. So this is how my eyelashes look or my eyes are hit. So now for my highlighter, I'm going to be using the Laura Geller um, Gilded Honey. I'm so excited. This is my first time using it, so let's see if I like it. And you guys know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, if you guys have seen my Instagram lives, which you guys should, my highlights always pop in like 95% of the time or 99.9% .9 of the time my highlights pop in. So let's see. So I'm going to take the BH Cosmetics 4 brush for my highlight. This one seems more of a, like a subtle glow, I guess. You could build it up. 
And I like mine to be well Pam, like you know that um my highlights popping. So as you guys could see, it is like it does. You guys could see it, but it's not as intense as I would like it to be. So it's this is more for like those type those type of persons that don't like their highlight to be like too whoa. So I would actually recommend this one. I'm gonna spray my brush right now to see if it intensifies it. So let me go ahead and spray my brush. Oh, okay, now that makes a difference. I know it looks streaky, just give me a minute. Just like chill out. So like, what I like to do when it gets like this, like where you can see a streak or whatever, where it's not smooth, I go with a stippling brush and I'm gonna go with the e.l.f. small stippling brush, this, and I'm gonna just blend all the harsh lines out. Now just to be a little extra, I'm gonna go back with the Carly Bible Deluxe Edition palette and I'm gonna go with this shade right here. It's a highlight shade, so I'm going to go ahead and just add some more highlight. So now for lipstick, I'm going to be using my Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Missy and Fierce. Ooh, it hit. So it's this one like this. It looks just like this. I'm going to go ahead and apply this. Now just to say everything, I'm going to be using the MAC Pep and Prep and Prime. And this is not a setting spray, but I just like to apply before I apply my setting spray so everything could just melt into my face. Then I like going with my Milani Make It Last setting spray just to set everything and make sure everything stays in place. Alright guys, so that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys until next time. Also, don't forget to follow me on my social medias. They're going to be somewhere on the screen and they're going to be down below. So, alright, bye guys. Yes, Wendy, you'll be slaying everyone's life.